Mr. Butte, you're not just going to ski a great mountain. It's about being away from your other world. You're surrounded by majestic peaks, wide valleys, and being connected to the culture and lifestyle that is Crested Butte. In the wintertime, Crested Butte is known as one of America's best small ski towns. But in the summer, people come from all over to see the bike races, the music festivals, and of course, the blooming of the wildflowers. It's so fabulous because um, I've seen a huge resurgence in the last 15 years of the gorgeous gardens in town. And what we were doing, I lead historical garden tours for the Wildflower Festival. And a lot of seeds have been taken from the wild and replanted here and they grow and they bloom. It's a very colorful, very vibrant uh, community. And uh, obviously, you know, a lot of the people live here because of the surrounding nature, because of the wildflowers. And, and we have seasons and and pulsing wildflowers. It feels like right, you know, you get into town, but you're still out in the country because it's, it doesn't feel like, oh, town, it's like it's separated, it's kind of all together. It still has that natural, like all the flowers. And well, the natural and landscapes are so incredible, yeah. and we are at the end of the valley. There's a lovely book called Where the Road Ends. We are where the road ends. In the winter, you come up here and you turn around and you go back because you can't get over Kepler Pass, mm -hmm. and you can't get on up to Gothic unless you're on skis or on, in a snow. And it's just like nestled in these amazing mountains. We're in Crested Butte, Colorado during the Wildflower Festival. We're seeing it on the garden tour by Horse and Buggy, which has been wonderful. <laughs> we took a little pit stop here at Peanut Lake. These are some of the old mining um, ruins and leftovers from the late 1800s. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. I mean, we're just a couple miles outside of the quaint historic town, yet we can get out here in complete nature, in paradise. This is one of those spots in America that is a true slice of our country that you have to come and see. It's absolutely gorgeous. Bob, can I have your hat? Yeah. <laughs> Like Lo said, people move here for the winters, but they live here for the summers, and I can absolutely see why. From the flowers, to the biking, to the music, it's such a fun, active, fit, quaint, historic town that people from all over come and can't get enough of. And Glow, you're quite a wildflower yourself. <laughs> Thank you for showing Thank us you. around. Thanks Trust for coming. Trusted View, Colorado, USA. It's going down 7.4 miles of dirt roads, and they got all these crazies that are gonna race down it. There's no chains, no brakes, Flintstone feet style brake, I guess. Um, we got some lampshades here, some guys. We got a guy in a like a speedo. Uh, yeah. Who knows who's gonna win? Are you gonna win? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The bagels help make you heavier. Chainless bike race. We're here with someone crazy. We got Justin. He's crazy enough to do it. So I can see you have the eye of the tiger. You're zoned in. You know it. You're going to get first. Yeah. Oh, yeah I'm gonna roll it. If you're not first, you're last. Yeah, that's right. All right. So can we put a camera on you so we can see the action? Oh, yes. We're going to show you All some right, action. Awesome. Here we go. All right. Let's Give us some it. cool stunt. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. We'll see you at the bottom. If you're not first, you're last. All right. First place. All right. This is the beginning of the. Chainless Race 2011, here we go. And it's going time!
it feels like we're in the middle of nowhere and it's so quiet and beautiful, but at the same time, you almost feel like you're stepping back in time. Absolutely, and that's that's what we're hoping for here. It's it's quite a playground. Let me go see what's over there because my, my understanding is there's some big fish in the dream stream. Let's go. Let's do it. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs>